Hello and welcome to this video wherein I'll be talking about how Citrix ADM service helps simplify Citrix ADC upgrades. I've logged into my Citrix ADM service which shows me multiple Citrix ADCs discovered across different versions. To upgrade these ADCs, I'll go to the configuration jobs modules and click on maintenance jobs which has many built-in jobs. I'll now click on the create job button to create a new job of the type upgrade Citrix ADC and proceed to give the job a specific name and add the instances which I want to upgrade. After selecting the instances, ADM will start performing some pre-upgrade validations on the selected instances. It will check whether the instance has sufficient disk space, whether it has any disk issues, or whether it has any user customizations. These checks will help ensure and highlight if the box has any issues which can lead to an upgrade failure. If the box has issues, ADM will highlight those errors upfront. Here we see two of the boxes have some issues present. To know more details, you can select on a specific ADC instance and click on details. Here you can see that this ADC instance has insufficient disk space wherein 69% of the directory is full and you need to clean up certain folders and it also has user customization. Now you can either proceed with the cleanup or you can remove these instances for now from the upgrade job. I will be doing the latter to take you through the rest of the upgrade process. The next step is optional, which is custom scripts. These scripts can be executed pre and post upgrade of every node to ensure that your environment does not have any changes before and after the upgrade. You can either type in commands or you can upload a file for these pre and post check upgrades. In one case, I have typed in commands and in the other case, I've uploaded a file which has the commands. The output of these will be emailed to you at the end of the upgrade process. The next step is to schedule the job. You can either schedule it for a specific time that is, if you have a specified maintenance window, you can select the date of that maintenance window along with the time. If you want to perform a two-stage upgrade, wherein you want to keep a certain uh, duration between the upgrade of the first node and the second node in case of an HA pair, ADM allows you to automate the same. For now, I will go with upgrade now to show you how this upgrade job works. So I've selected upgrade now and I proceed to the last step of the job creation uh, wherein we have some additional intelligent knobs like cleaning the software image after successful upgrade from the ADC, backing up the ADC instance before the upgrade, uh, getting an execution report via email or Slack. And the last step is to select the software image which you need to upload uh, to ADM. So I've uploaded the software image successfully and can now start with the upgrade job. This will take a couple of minutes. After it is completed, you'll see the status of the job reflected to completed. Uh, that is when you can go and see more details on, on the execution summary. Uh, if you've scheduled this job, you'll get the same execution report on your email. Uh, you can see that it's completed successfully across all the selected ADC instances. You can also drill down to the command log of a specific instance to see the details of every command executed. With this, uh, we've come to the end of the video and here is a quick recap on the key benefits of upgrading Citrix ADC via Citrix ADM service. Do have a look at our blog and the documentation link which we've given in the introduction of the video. Thank you and have a good day.